It was once thought to be extinct, the 25,000 year old language from the heart of the Kalari. But it was rediscovered in the 1990s and revival efforts began. It is now at a stage where the only living being in the world who can speak it fluently, Katrina Iso, feels content. It means people see the language, learn the language. It means the language will never die. We do it, I can do it. Work on the dictionary also uncovered words and phrases that were nearly lost. Uh, we've been working and during this project, uh, we came across some distinct uh, sounds that could have been lost for generations to come. But uh, luckily we, we caught that all and it is tra transcribed in this dictionary. So uh, what it means for the future is that Nu is alive, it can be revived. Now we can really revive Nu. The dictionary is not the end of the revival efforts of the Nu language. There is an app also in the website that they develop that you can use. When you see the word Purukuzi, then you can go on that small speaker, you press on it and you hear the word. Oma's voice or the other peop uh, new speakers' voices. And, and you can make it easier for... Yeah, that app will make it easier for the people to use the dictionary, because then you can hear the word also. It is proving that ancient indigenous languages are also technologically ready in terms of reaching the masses through technology and access to information through technology. It also means relying on recent technological trends for the preservation promotion and use of this language. It is hoped that the efforts will pay off and one speaker will turn into many. The dictionary will be made available online and the app that's being developed will make it easier for especially young people to get their tongues around the many clicks of the new language. After a few hours going through the dictionary, I can say that it might be helpful to many. Nge ke nge Ulrich Goike Hendricks. SBC News, Uppington, Northern Cape.